What's going on, people? We are Tottenham TV here for an, another episode of Reacts, where we're going to take a look at the workings of this weekend when Spurs battered Fleetwood at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium at the under-21s. Bergval scored an absolute worldie, got two goals and an assist, and also Jaffet Tanganga got his account open for Millwall as well. So we're going to take a look at X and see how the internet did react to those things. And we're going to start off with the, out, the football outlook, reacting to Jaffet Tanganga. Ganga's goal against Southampton this weekend. High flying Southampton have a hit a bit a bit of a dip in form, but apparently Jaffet Tanganga had an absolute worldie of a performance, and he got his first goal. So let's have a look at it. Yeah, as you can see here, he's he's uh, very brave when he goes in for that header. He gets a big clattering from the goalkeeper, but look. It shows you need to put your head in where it hurts to get the goal. It's like a striker's finished almost, the way he uh, gets over the keeper. Looped header, lovely. Looped header, a big, big result for Millwall as well. And as you say, I've, uh, there was a few um, reports I read uh, on, on X about Tanganga's performance. Some Millwall fans describing it as one of the best individual performances they've seen this season. So a lot of high praise for Jaffet um, after this game. I'm really happy for him because... It's a weird, weird one. As much as he's at, he's been in the football scene for a while for Tottenham, but we haven't seen him get a consistent run of games for a very long time, like ever. Yeah, yeah. So I'm happy he's starting to, you know, get uh, get some games and hopefully show what he's made of. Yeah, the Millwall fans are saying uh, the best individual display they've seen all season. I mean, seeing as they've just got a new manager, how many good individual displays do you reckon they've seen? No idea, <laughs> but it's the best. So take it as you will. Rising Ballers uh, tweeted out saying, we asked you guys to drop some ballers on our Insta and you didn't disappoint. Tottenham under 18 midfielder Leo Black is too cold with it on 10 goals and assists in just 15 under 18 Premier League games so far this season Tottenham have so many ballers coming up right now yeah look at this kid ball it out unbelievable we got and looks like we might have another one in a few years maybe break into under 23s he seems to have be another one full of absolute techers talent and clearly he's already getting that final product I mean he's able to smash it in from outside the box already which is unbelievable so one to keep an eye on Leon mm. Black all that money that um, Spurs put into the academy all those years ago. I think we're starting to see those fruits of all, all that labour, aren't we? I'd hope, yeah. I th and I think that's exactly what the club long term want. They want to be producing their own talent, saves them money, and as well, um, it's it, it, you are also um, creating loyal players who are more likely to stay as well. So, hundred percent, I think that's the goal. Look at this one. This Our is own La Masia. <laughs> exactly. Uh, let's look at this one from Attack the Space, KY. This is Bergval's goal in an absolutely unreal performance in the Swedish Cup over the weekend. So I think this is his first goal. Um which is which is which was a really nice play uh from um I can't remember the name of his team, but uh, how to pronounce it. But as Jagarden. you look, look moves into the space, one touch and a really cool finish. That was like this goal is kind of like Foden S. One touch finish, really great close control, moving into the space. Uh, really nice play from um from Bergvall. Um I know they're playing a second division Swedish team in the cup, but still like he's he's only eighteen but has so much composure. Absolutely. And uh, this is the assist. This was one of the best assists I've seen in so long. Look at the way he touches the ball first and foremost, gets past that player and that pass. You know, I've slowed this down oh. so many times. I still don't know oh. how he slips that pass in. Unreal. Is that the, I think Unreal. it's outside of his boot, maybe? Or is it is it, the outside of his yeah, boot. Yeah, it's incredible. The quick thinking, weight of pass as well, gets it right into the part oh. of the striker. It's a beautiful assist from Bergvall. Really beautiful. And I was saying this before in the update, like... You can score all these amazing goals, but to have that vision, like you, ha you have to be a special player to have that vision. Yeah, and the timing in the pass as well to just squeeze in between those two players. Literally, uh, there's the eye of the needle, and there's that. It's really not a lot of space to uh, to get it through, but he does it to perfection. Brilliant, brilliant assist. And then let's look at the second goal that he did score, which was absolutely well. This is actually just the highlights reel of of the whole performance. No, I scroll believe. down to the one below. Yeah, this one. This was Puskas worthy, they're saying. An early contender for Puskas. Picks was... it up just before a halfway line, takes it past their whole team. Yeah, the looks... audacity for that finish right at the end as well. Some questionable defending in there, got to say that, but to pull it all off is unreal. 
the way he just um, shoves away those two defenders as well and then get from, gets it from his right back onto his left shows how two-footed he is as well. Shows power, strength, speed, quick thinking. Um, it's, an, it's, it's, it's an unbelievable goal. It's a ridiculous goal, actually. It reminds me back in the day when uh, that famous goal Zlatan scored for Ajax when he just took it past so many players and just whenever he thought he was going to shoot, he finally just takes another touch, another touch. And it's like Bergval. Oh, that that little piece of skill right at the end slots it home. I'm not uh, sure beautiful. what those two defenders are doing, to be honest. But... They're just bamboozled. <laughs> yeah, by him. they can't <laughs> handle him. He's too he's too good for them. Um, Quite incredible by Berg. To be it fair. really was, and I can't wait to see him strutting that stuff in the Premier League next season. Puskas, yeah, it should Why be a contender. Not? See, I think that's, he, sh he should be called up to the next year's uh, Ballon d'Or award for the Collector's Puskas award. No, I completely agree. And I think if if he if he was to make that Puskas award, like there'll be like four out of the last five Puskas yeah, Spurs winners or something. Yeah, <laughs> class, true. Uh, Tottenham Academy tweeted out Niall John's uh, goal, which was the fifth goal Spurs did score in the six nil. Was it five five six nil, nil. Win, six nil win? Sorry, um, lovely finish. Um, it's, it's weird. You think about Niall John still being around our under twenty ones when you think about under Nuno, he he played a uh, conference started a conference league game against. Um, that Portuguese team, I can't remember their name off the top of my head, but Passos. Uh, Passos, yeah, exactly. Deferet, yeah. Um, so is it worrying? Not worrying, but you know, he's still hanging around the under twenty ones, hasn't really progressed, but obviously still apparently he's still playing well for them. He's twenty years of age now. So he's at an age now where he either makes that step up or he probably leaves this summer. I think mm. it's one or the two. Yeah. Um at at the age of twenty, playing with the under twenty ones. I mean, you look at all the other players that are making a name for themselves right now, Jamie Donnelly, Will Lankshire, um, Iago Santiago, you know, they're all I think they're all kind of like eighteen, nineteen, aren't they? I yeah. think Santiago might be twenty He's actually. A bit older, yeah. But Lankshire and Donnelly are all eighteen years of age, aren't they? Yeah. So yeah, I think for these players, Santiago and Niall John, it's probably do or die this summer. Because you can't see them playing for the under 21s for too much longer. I agree. But nice goal. Spurs Academy tweeting out a picture of Will Lankshire. Three goals in 11 minutes for him at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. What a moment it is for him. Yeah, unbelievable hat trick. I think we have the hat trick um, in one of these other ones as well. But he seems to be banging them in. Every, like everyone talks about Donnelly. I mean, uh, people have been talking about Lancashire. There have been rumours about a potential loan move somewhere. But he do he doesn't seem to be getting the same sort of praise. But he's absolutely banging them in. Every time I see the, their results, he seems to be got at least two or three goals. Yeah, uh, He's scoring lots and lots of goals. So um, I'm absolutely delighted for him. Where was Sun Sop Bell? Injured? Is he injured? Oh, is he injured? I think he's injured because mm. he is. A, he's another one who's also banging them in. Mm. But I think he's got a lot more goals. Yeah, to be number fair. Number nine. Um, next up, this is a save from Aaron Maguire, who is a goal on the day. Look at this save! Oh, point blank range. Fantastic. Bang. Got the clean sheet. Earned his team um, a clean sheet. So fantastic stuff from him. And this is the hat trick. Look at this assist first of all from Santiago. Crosses the ball in. Well, it was actually a, not an assist from Santiago. Oh, it was a lo Donnelly lovely assist, play. Wasn't it? But lovely win play from Santiago there. That was an easy tap in for, for Lancashire. That Look one. at this pass from Donnelly. Boo! Oh, no, this is the pass from Donnelly. <laughs> I was watching it on my screen. Oh, that's an unbelievable pass. That's a, you know what? That's a great pass, but what an unbelievable take, take that is yeah. by, by Lancashire. That touch is unreal. That's class. And the, the composure to take it around the keeper. These two have got a really pitch. good. Um, um, partnership together. Yeah, relationship. That touch here is... Look at that. Oh. That's Berbatov-esque. Look at that. Right in front of him. And to find the net as well Class. between the two players. And then I think there's one more. There's a hat-trick goal as well. Yeah, they showed it already, but... No, they haven't, they haven't, they haven't, we've seen two of them. Here we go. Oh, oh. great ball by Donnelly again. And Lil Dink finish. Composed. Lovely stuff. To do that, though, in front of fans at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium must have just been so special for yeah, him. Yeah, it must have felt really great. And it's a great hat-trick, three great goals. And Jamie Donnelly was speaking on um, Hyung Min Son in the next tweet, and he says, he's unbelievable, he's great to have around the building, he's always smiling, he helps me a lot, he gives me help in training and tells me what he thinks. He's very good to me. If I'm in front of goal, he's making sure I'm more composed and staying calm and telling me to take an extra touch if the situation requires it. It's simple things, but not big things, um, but they're the kind of things that you definitely need to, to progress me, to help me. And um, you, know, you don't expect anything less from the captain, Hyung Min Song, do you? 
Uh, no, uh, we know what a leader he is, and he's always there to help uh, some of the more inexperienced players. And that, that's also one of the great things that um, we've seen since Son has taken the captaincy. Obviously, we know he's always been a great influence on the dressing room, but him taking players under his wing, really helping them develop, um, has been one of the shining lights of her um what he's brought in leadership capacity. So really great stuff to hear from Donnelly. This one from Jacko Katz. Um, this was Iago Santiago's goal. Yeah, goal of the day. Yeah, this was 100% goal of the day, assist of the day. The way he takes it around the keeper, absolutely insane. Look at this pass from oh. Donnelly. Law and then San, that little oh. roll by Santiago as yeah. well. Absolute class. And Juan again as well. Beautiful from beautiful. They absolutely balled out, didn't they, the youngsters? It was so great to see. Um it was absolutely a beautiful football. Donnelly actually ended the game with four assists. Uh, Santiago obviously got got his goal as well. But the football was just dynamite. So lovely. Liquid football, as they mm, call it. Absolutely. And I, just, like, I keep saying it, but I just can't wait to see these guys make the step up. Um, because I do. I, obviously not all of them are going to make the step up. But I do definitely think that someone like Jamie Donnelly does have something special there. Yeah, and there's, look, there's a reason why he's in around the first team and he wouldn't be if Ange didn't think he had something about him. So I really hope that in the future we see more and more in the first team. And look, let's hope they kick on and uh, become unbelievable players for us. Yeah, so I think that is all we have time for today. But some worldies of goals, worldies of assists. I um, hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section below. How many of these Spurs under 21 players do you think will make the step up? And how excited are you to see Lucas Bergval in a Spurs shirt after seeing what he produced on the weekend? Like, subscribe and comment. And as always, come, come on, on you Spurs. Spurs.